हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन दिस वाज आस्ड इन अ स्टार्टअप कॉल्ड सीको एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव अ यूजर इवेंट्स टेबल वेयर वी हैव यूजर आईडी इवेंट टाइप एंड इवेंट टाइम राइट सो फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज माय यूजर आईडी एंड सपोज दिस यूजर इज ब्राउजिंग ऑन Amazon और Flipkart flipkart.com एनी वेबसाइट राइट so we have user id event type and event time which means for example for user id 1 there was a event type called click so user clicked on somewhere and this is the time when the user clicked again there is another event called scroll right it is the same user and again this is the time stamp when user scrolled it then again something so there are multiple activities by each user what we need to do is we need to do two things basically identify user sessions a session is defined as a sequence of activities by a user where the time difference between consecutive events is less than or equal to 30 minutes if the time between two events exceeds 30 minute it's considered as a start of a new session okay so i will i'll explain this with a example i have created some more data to cover all the use cases so this is my input events table and this is the expected output right so we have to identify session how many session are there and for each session session start time end time session duration and event count right but how do we define session i am going to explain so for user id 1 this is the first time he came on the website and it doesn't matter what is the event type it can be anything right so 9 o'clock he came next is 10 o'clock so the difference between this and this is more than 30 minutes right so if you see it says if the time between two events exceeds 30 minutes it's considered the start of a new session right so this is a new session now this is not part of the same session because the time difference is 1 hour right so this session 1 starts at 9 o'clock and ends at 9 o'clock there is no other activity within this session so session duration is 0 and there is only one event in this session let's look at the next one for the same user it is 10 o'clock then 10 20 this is within 30 minutes again next one is within 30 minutes from 10 20 to 10 50 it is 30 minutes so these three events are one session right if the consecutive events are within 30 minutes those are part of same session so this is session 2 for user id 1 it starts at 10 o'clock ends at 10 50 so if you see here we have 10 50 right and session duration is difference between these two start time and end time and there are three events right so there are three events in this right similarly similarly if you see this one user 2 right for user 2 the first event is 9 o'clock and then 920 so these two events will be the first event session 1 and starting at 9 ending at 920 right so 20 minute is session duration and there are two events now if you look at the last event right this is 1030 so this is not part of the this event because the difference is more than 1 hour more than 30 minutes so again this is a new session session 2 right this start time end time same session duration 0 and event 1 right so this is what we need to achieve in this question okay so what you can do is you can get the insert create from the description box or you can solve this question on namaste sql website i will share the link this question is absolutely free you just have to log in and you can solve it either using mysql ms sql postgres python anything you can run code evaluate it you can check out the solution right you can you can put your answers here you can check your submissions everything you can do okay so let's get started so let's focus on our events table now okay so one thing is clear right that we need to find difference between the event time of consecutive events right that that is the only way to find time difference between two events right that if it is 30 minutes or more so what i will do first thing first i'll just say lag right for each event i will check what was the previous event so i will say lag of event time right how much lag one i need only one lag right over now for each user i need separately so partition by user id order by event time right 
as previous event time this will be the previous event time so let's run it okay so i got for first event there is no previous event so it is null for the second event if you see this is my previous event so i am getting the time here for this this is my previous now what i will do i will find the difference between this and this right and also because it is null what i will do i will put the same value here there is no previous event this is my first event itself so i'll just put the same value so i will say event time this is my third parameter okay so i am getting the same value the difference between these two will be zero so it will be considered as a in the same session right so it will be easy to do all the calculations then so now what i will do i will say date diff date diff i need in minute right and then i need between the previous event and current event so this is my previous event right and this is my current event time right and i will say as time diff right this can be my time diff so if i just run this now so if you see this is the first one so this is zero which is fine now between this and this if you see this is at 10 o'clock and previous one was 9 o'clock time difference is 60 now time difference is 20 then 30 then 50 now the trick here is if the time difference is less than 30 consecutively all those events will be of the same session okay so let me explain it so 9 o'clock is fine time difference is zero next is 10 o'clock so one hour difference so now if it is more than 30 i will say a new session is starting this session is ending right so this is a new session is starting now because this event and previous event time is more than 30 so a new session is starting now this is part of same session because it is less than equal to 30 so this event and this event will be part of same session so here new new session is starting and this is continuing again 30 will be part of same session because it is less than equal to 30 now it is 50 which means again new session is starting this is 60 again new session is starting but this one and this one will be part of same session why because the time is less than 30 right so this is how we have to do and similarly for user id 2 okay so what we will do we will create a flag in this flag we will say if this is less than 30 then one l zero and then further we will use that flag okay so let's hold on little bit and i am going to explain you everything so i will say with ct let's create a ct and what i will do now select star from ct and i will say case when time diff is less than equal to 30 then 0 else 1 and as session flag we can say okay so let me run this quickly so if you see this is my session flag 0 right if it is less than equal to 30 then 0 otherwise 1 right so if you see whenever the new session is starting my flag is 1 otherwise it will be 0 so if you see this is 0 now it is one means a new session is starting and until zeros are there it will be a same session the moment i find one a new session is starting the moment i find one a new session is starting and these two will be part of same session right again zero so this is a new user now so again new session is starting and this these two will be part of same session right so this is how we have to this thing we have to keep in mind so what i will do now i will do a sum of this session flag okay so let me show you how it will help me so i will say sum of session flag over partition by user id order by event time okay okay so let me explain and i will say uh, session id let me call it session id okay so if i just run this or let me call it session group okay so if you see this is my first first session is starting with zero right 
now this these three if you see are part of same session and all of those have go, got the same session group one 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 right now this session group we can use to group the data because we need to group these three rows together right this is one session right so this this group will help me in aggregating data again this is a new session two there is only one event in this group in three there are two events now with this new user again in the zero one there are two event right and this is a another group right now things are simple for me what i need to do is i will say cte2 as this right and i will say select user id from ct2 group by user id and session group right and session group right let me take it here i will remove it later we don't need it and then i will say minimum of event time we need a session id column as well if you remember so we need to drive that as well so just hold on session start time and if i do maximum session end time so this is my session end time right what else i need i need count star as number of events right last thing we need is the session duration so it will be date diff again in minute i need between minimum event time and maximum event time as session duration right this will be max okay let's run this okay so we got most of the column user id session start time end time let me do a order by to see it correctly so i'll just say order by user id session group okay so so if you see this is my session group 0 1 2 3 again 0 1 right now if you see in the 0 in the first session the duration is 0 because there was no other event there was only one event in the second group we remember there were three right you can match with the uh, the, the initial query right so it is perfectly fine the only thing is this session group should be a session id so i can just say session group plus 1 as session id so that it starts with 1 okay so this is my session id now 1 2 3 4 there are four session for user id 1 and there are two session for user id 2 we have the session start time end time number of events and session duration right so this is how you will solve this kind of problem there are two tricky things here one is this one right where you need to do a running sum based on this case when condition and second one is you have to add plus 1 to get the session id as well as you need to use this this difference to get the session duration okay i hope it makes sense if you have any further better solution or smaller solution or more efficient solution let me know in the comment section i would love to know that thanks for watching have a great day